Before this video starts, I would like to tell my fans that I've made a collaboration with Lazy Kage talking about if Boruto will be stronger or become stronger than his father Naruto. So be sure to check out the video on his channel, which will be linked down in the description. Boruto episode 2, let's go. So the episode starts when Boruto comes into the class and he has been suspended for two weeks for what he did the previous episode and he has been doing his homework home and Hinata forced him to do so because if Hinata did not do that, we know that Boruto would never do his homework. But when he comes into class, right, people are talking shit about Boruto, saying that he was the person who caused trouble. So naturally, they don't they don't want to, you know, chill with someone who causes that much trouble because they don't want to, you know, get involved with all that kind of stuff. So they're talking shit about Boruto, which is kind of similar to what they were doing to Naruto. But the thing about Boruto is that he overcomes things quickly. So, you know, in terms of combat, he's faster and better than Naruto. And in terms of, you know, just making friends and proving himself, he's better. And because he has Jutsu and all that kind of stuff that which he easily learns and makes his own if you get what i'm trying to say so he tries to copy shikadai's homework i think and shikadai says no obviously <laughs> it's a total classic you know having that one guy who always copies off people's homework and shit but we have chocho who is i think a pessimistic character people actually grow to hate um her as a character because she's always complaining and she never is amazed by anything which is you know normal but at the same time whenever a situation gets hyped she She's always acting like it's nothing in a way even though she can't do it any better but we have this new girl on the left who is the uh, class rep right we don't know her name yet but i'm sure we'll find out the next episode because i think she's gonna be in the same team as metal lee i think and then we have sarah that just minding her own business doing her homework and all that kind of stuff you know what i'm saying she pretends she doesn't care but she low-key actually does you know and chocho mentions that she is um boruto's childhood friend and in japan right the whole childhood friend idea comes across as you know like a romantic kind of thing and sarada's just denying it saying don't call us that so you know she's kind of denying that kind of stuff because she's you know trying to say that she's she's trying to prove that she does not care about boruto or anything else except her studies but it's a it's a characteristic that she got from sasuke because sasuke was the same way in the original naruto so just take note on that now we get introduced to the new character who is inojin who is you know the son of ino and sai he has size with of talking because Sai does not you know think before he says something he just says it as he thinks and obviously that is the attitude of this character he just says that um Boruto is riding on Ho the Hokage's coattails basically he's trying to say that Boruto is just famous because he is just trying to ride off Naruto's fame basically he's just hogging Naruto's fame to make his presence known in a sense and that is pretty much the theme of this episode I'm thinking that maybe a few upcoming episodes are just going to be about the same thing about Boruto denying Naruto as his dad or you know denying to be the same as naruto but i think they need to change that because as time goes on people are gonna get bored of the same idea saying boruto does not like naruto yes we get it we want something new we want boruto to actually have a proper goal since we actually don't know what he wants to become when he grows up except from um, sarada's bodyguard which caused her to blush but you know what does that mean so it turns out that the new girl the class rep is a little bit shy she has more of hinata's characteristics so maybe she's gonna be you know the new hinata but you know of the next generation so time passes and they have a little assessment it's more like a fit test to see where you are in terms of abilities and obviously boruto is one of the best people he was number two apparently because he was beaten by a guy known as iwabe everyone is thinking that iwabe is kawaki but i don't think so and i'm gonna just explain expand more on that on my next video which is the things that you have missed anyway the third person is sarada obviously because she is the daughter of sakura and the master uchiha sasuke but as the episode goes on i want you to pay attention to the characters in the background because they are the next konoha 11 and as you can see there are a few girls behind chocho and those girls are also in the intro so they are going to be important they're going to be split from the um important characters to the ones who are not that important and then we have this character who looks like kakashi or at least he has the mouth mask cover thing that kakashi always has so i think maybe this is like the um, new next generation version of kakashi or something so obviously um they go to they go back to the class to have some lunch and then we see all these people who are scared of boruto because they want to stay away from the trouble right and then boruto tries to have lunch with them but they say nah they're going to the roof because they don't want nothing to do with boruto so that is when we get introduced to iwabe who is apparently a loser so this guy is made out to be good at ninjutsu and taijutsu so basically he's a muscle head but at the same time he's really shit in study so he's good at and there we go that is your typical class bully the person who's just 
just a muscle head with no brains and just strength. So Iwabe challenges Boruto in a fight and it turns out that this guy has failed the graduation exam twice. If you take a look at this guy's height, this guy looks at least 3 years older than all the people in his class and apparently he failed the graduation exam twice but we don't know how frequently the graduation exams are held maybe it's once a year or maybe it's twice a year but this guy has filled it twice and he clearly looks as if he should be at a higher stage he should be i think chunin at this stage but we don't know how old he is and we don't know how long he has actually been in the academy but moving on boruto decides to you know accept um iwabe's invitation to go and fight and he's obviously not defending his honor as the Hokage son, but he's actually defending Kaminarimon Denki. So Boruto actually shows that he cares about the people around him, in contrast to Naruto who just cared about how popular he was and how much attention he got. So we start the fight now, and if you look at the area, it looks a lot like the Chunin exam. Pretty much this entire scene, this entire um, battle that we see, is just reminiscent of the Chunin exam. It looks exactly like the Chunin exam. We've got the, the hands doing the hand sign and then we've got a lot of the seats so it is very identical to the chunines and then we have sarada who is constantly worrying about boruto but you know she's hiding it low key she cares about boruto and i think she likes him too but she's just trying to hide it trying to pretend that she has no interest in what boruto is doing and that boruto is stupid but she's like the new hinata basically except she's not as timid as hinata and the class rep is the one who is timid so it was just you know a little bit of a reminder of the tuning exam for those people who don't know or people who are new to this series i'm just gonna be analyzing all the stuff in my things you've missed so you understand what's going on you can actually get into boruto and naruto as a series so boruto fights iwabe and then you know he's doing really really well because iwabe has actually had some experience fighting as a ninja because he's missed two exams right meaning that maybe if let's say for example if an exam was hosted once a year that means he has two years of experience on top of all these other people so obviously i wasn't expecting boruto to win but i was expecting him to prove his point and he did iwabe actually said that he's on cool meaning that he actually admits defeat that you know he's not as good as he thinks he is he's aiming to become hokage but for someone with that kind of personality no one will like you and you will not become hokage because hokages are elected and if people in your class already don't like you if you grow up with that same attitude you're not gonna become hokage because no one is gonna like you it's more like an orochimaru type of route but anyways boruto manages to almost you know defeat iwabe and then iwabe gets mad and grabs his hammer apparently he knows how to use his earth nature so he makes a hammer out of his staff and he tries to attack boruto but then inojin stops him with his new super b scroll type of art which i'm going to discuss later but it's something new for the next generation they are actually stepping things up and you know i'm getting hyped for what we are going to learn about all these characters so i think the next generation or the few episodes that are going to come up before naruto gaiden and before the whole movie re thing are just to you know just to develop these characters to make sure that we know who they are before boruto actually gets into the exciting stuff so at the end of the episode iwabe obviously admits defeat and then he comes back into the class right the changes are that boruto is finally accepted by the people in his class like i said he quickly overcomes things because like what they are trying to show is that he's not like naruto so obviously now everyone wants to eat lunch with boruto and he's finally the cool guy of the class right but we know he's gonna be pulling out pranks to annoy naruto and you know people some people are gonna have issues with that so iwabe walks into the class right and he is present because it's known that this guy skips classes and that is the reason why he flopped some of his exams but because he got defeated right i think that gave him you know the initiative to actually be responsible and turn up for class so he came into the class and everyone was surprised that he was actually being nice to boruto because he gained respect for boruto and there was a saying that men you know earn respect for each other by gauging each other's strengths so you know so boruto is actually getting somewhere because he taught iwabe and that is where the episode ends there wasn't really much stuff that we saw this episode except some new characters and you know we got introduced to iwabe but i'm gonna be analyzing the little details and all that kind of stuff and going into depth of with what we saw so you know let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below about this episode comments obviously to be featured in the best comments and with that being said i have nothing more to say bye